Today's Guide to Life is all about face reading and I'm kind of excited because I'm going to get my face read and learn more about face reading from a master. So now Master Rick is going to start reading my face and that's the reason why I didn't really put a lot of makeup today because the producers told me that you know I cannot conceal my, my flaws. So this is the first like Guide to Life episode in like 100 plus episodes that I didn't put on fake eyelashes. Mm, natural right? <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to see what he says. Face reading actually consists of uh, three parts. Mm. So this is supposed to be 27 years old. Yes. So actually you are four in this part of face reading. Okay. Here we are. How about this part? I don't know. It was stained by the dye so it looks very gross. So actually you have high forehead. It shows that you, you equip with a lot of uh, good knowledge. Eyes is actually the, the soul of our life. I see you have a more here. You look uh, aggressive. Mm. But of course, along the way, you have an uh, obstacle. So the mole means I have an obstacle? Yes, so you have to remove. I believe that putting concealer, I can trick everyone into thinking that it's gone. <laughs> I just put concealer. But actually, it's still there. So you have to remove. Oh, okay. Then what is the most lucky mole place? Then? Maybe I go and plant my... Maybe I take out this one. The most lucky place is inside your eyebrow. Okay. Uh, that will give you well. Well, uh, Yeah, well. Oh, I don't know. Fan Wong has one. I think the reason why you say that like people who have it is lucky is because you get most from like pigmentation. Then your eyebrows are covering the space here. So how can you get most here? So it's very rare. So therefore people think it's lucky. I can be a face reader. And you are going to die. Will my husband cheat on me? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think might pay him beforehand. He's very faithful to you. Oh really? Yes. How can you tell from what? From your uh, Fu Chi Gong. Oh. Fu Chi Gong is this part. Here? Yes, okay. here. Because you don't have any uh, marking. Here? Ah. Yes. So people who get cheated on have a lot of marking here. Yes. So that means if I go and look at his and he's got a lot more means I'm going to cheat on as well. So you have to ask him to remove. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yes. So you know that I did like some plastic surgery la. So I want to show you like my before plastic surgery photo to ask you whether like you think my life improved from <laughs> Don't show your first from this state. Yes. Hideousness. Okay, so here is me before plastic surgery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't like his scalp. <laughs> oh yeah, this is very ugly. What about my shaved eyebrows? Last time your eyebrow was quite far apart. Yeah, because I take one shave when I shave on the... Shave, okay. <laughs> so that is exact too... length of a shaver. Too wide. Okay. So that so your bedding factor is not so... Not so power than now. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's better to have it closer? It's closer, but you must but have not at least brow. two fingers oh. away. Okay. So come to this part. It's a human level. Your nose, I believe you have do something to your nose. Yes. Nose is uh, represents health and wealth. You have a nice nose. So it represents you able to get hold your wealth, the opportunity. Okay. Is this person more prone to success than me? No, now it's better. But I got big nose, you know, that means I'll be very well. But you have a big nose, but then the problem is you, ha you have a low nose, you don't have a high nose. Oh, Yeah. so must be big and high. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I really hope that they will never ever use this for my funeral, I'll be so upset. <laughs> Please, I don't Followed by is the canal. This one is uh, also your activities. That means you easily get patterns because your canal <laughs> is... It's deep <laughs> enough. Extra fertile. <laughs> oh, so that is how you see uh, yes. whether somebody is fertile. Okay. Yes. So is it the same for guys? Guys is uh, more to the uh, like uh, sexual activities. Uh. So the deeper it is, the more horny they are. Yes. <laughs> how many kids will I have? At least two. How do you tell the kids? From your canal. Oh. Those you are slutty canal. <laughs> Can I see your ear? My grandmother always says small ears is... <laughs> Actually, it's Short small, life. small, no, no, no. The standard size of the ear is at your eyebrow and to the nose. You are a bit of uh, softer. This so that you must uh, put in extra uh, listening power. That means uh, listen to other people's advice. I refuse. You refuse? Yeah, because every day people are criticizing me every day. If I really listen to them, I think I commit suicide by now. Eh? Can you close your mouth? Okay, quite straight. It shows that you are able to keep secret. 
people. Oh, so, that yes. cannot be no more wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that you can just look at somebody's picture and also can read their face? By picture? Yeah. Okay. Can let me I, try. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this person. What do you think about her? Is she evil? Actually, it's your friend, or? No, it's not. It's not your yeah, friend. Yeah, it's my mortal enemy. So you can say all kinds of shit about her. The more, the better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the outstanding part is the mouth. Ah, and then? So, so what does it mean she likes to? If the lips is not equal, upper lips and lower lips is not equal, so this type of person you have to be aware of. Whatever the person say, you just believe maybe fifty percent. Will she never ever find true love? Actually, it's a tricky question. Oh, too slutty. So she must know how to change herself. See? Come on, say one up. So we've come to the end of the episode. I think I learned a lot about face reading today and that <laughs> I'm for Tao and Mike is faithful. <laughs> so thank you Master Rick for your time. Okay, thank you. And especially love his analysis on plastic dealer. No true love.